Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an external keyboard or synth with Reaper. Now, sometimes you don't want to use software synths, as many old or vintage keyboards are still very useful, but they're a bit more complicated to work with in your DAW. So, I'm going to show you how to set that up in Reaper. Now, the first thing you want to do is set up your keyboard or synth. I'm using one similar to this. And we want to route the MIDI in and MIDI out to our MIDI interface, which might also be an audio interface connected to your computer, or it could be separate like this. Then you want to set up the audio outputs from your keyboard to the audio inputs on your audio interface, whether it be mono or stereo. And once that's done, we can go back into Reaper. So let's start by checking our preferences. Go to the options and let's open our preferences. I'm going to go down to audio device. Make sure your audio device is working. Then we're going to go down over here to our MIDI devices. And make sure your MIDI interface, where you plug the MIDI cables into from your synth, show up over here. I'm using this one right here. Make sure it's set up to be enabled for the input and for the output. If it's not, just double click it and enable it right here. Same with the output. So once that's set up, we can start creating new tracks. So create one over here. And let's name it Synth MIDI. We're going to use this track just for recording MIDI, not the actual audio. So we'll set up our input right here to MIDI. And we'll choose our interface. Again, I'm using this one. And it could be all channels or any channel you choose. If you're not sure which one, just choose all channels. Then we're going to hit this button right here for monitoring. This is where we could hear our sound go through this track, or at least the MIDI. So I'll click it once to turn on record monitoring. Then we're going to record and play the keyboard. Watch this meter right here. If we have signal, then our MIDI is coming in correctly. But we shouldn't hear sound yet. We'll do that in a bit. But the next thing we need to do is send MIDI back out to the synth. Right now it's just coming in. So go to the routing, go over here to MIDI hardware output and choose a MIDI interface right here. Then we'll select the MIDI channel, which you're gonna set up on your synth or keyboard. I'm gonna use channel one, then we can close this. And now we can create another track for our audio. So we can hear the synth, so we'll name this Synth Audio. So again, our MIDI is coming in here and going back out to our synth. And then it's going to come back in through audio on this track. We'll turn on monitoring right here so we can hear it. We'll set up our input to where our synth or keyboard is plugged in. As far as audio, I have mine plugged in stereo to inputs three and four. Then we can go into record and we should hear our synth. And we do. Now there's one problem with this setup. If we go into record and play along with the music, it's going to record the MIDI and the audio at the same time, like this. Now, if you don't mind that, and you want to print the MIDI and the audio at the same time, you could do it this way. But if you're like me, and you want to edit the MIDI before you print it, you may not want to record the audio at the same time. So what I'll do instead, undo that recording, go over here and choose to instead of recording the input, we'll record disable, input monitoring only, not recording. And what's going to happen with that is if we go into record, it just records the MIDI, but we're still hearing the audio through this track. It's just not actually printing it or recording it. We can still hear the sound through it. 
so we can monitor our synth. Now I should mention this. If for some reason you're hearing two synths at the same time, as it's going through here and here, you want to set up your keyboard or synth to have local turned off. So that when you play the keyboard, it's not actually playing the unit. So that the MIDI going through this track is the only thing triggering that synth. So if you're hearing two notes at once, just turn this off right here. The monitoring, hit it twice. So it looks like this. This way it'll still record the MIDI, but it's not going to play the synth through this track while you're recording, just on playback. But if your synth is still playing with local on, you're still going to hear it. In my situation, local is off, so I don't hear it unless I turn this back on. So that MIDI is going through this track and going back out the way we set it up, right over here. So let's delete that recording. And let's put down a part. And again, it's only going to record the MIDI because this track has record disabled turned on. So we're just going to monitor through this track. So let's put down a part. So if you want to edit this, we can double click on MIDI, which opens up the MIDI editor. Now we can quantize the performance. I'll go over here to this button and we'll quantize the 16th notes or the grid, all notes, and use position, note, and end. So it's going to quantize the beginning and end of every note. Hit OK. So now my performance should be perfect or at least quantized. So let's hear it now. Much better. So now if I want to print this, so I can use this synth again for a different part, just close this, take this track out of record, and switch this to record input, then I can record this part in real time as audio. Perfect. So I could take this track and mute it as I don't need it anymore. And I could play this back as audio. If we want to create another sound with that same synth, just duplicate this all, change the sound, and keep adding parts. And by doing it this way, we can record and edit our external synths or keyboards in Reaper. So I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.